Hey everybody, Animal Man here. Recently this company, Protect Life, sent me several other products to review on my channel. And here we go. This is their 100 piece first aid kit. Stay with us. So normally I do unboxing videos before I do the reviews. However, um, I'm hopefully not going to need to use all of the gear in this first aid kit, you know, knock on wood. So uh, I'm just going to hop in and this is going to be like an unboxing review all in one just to show you what's in here. Um, you know, I have I have a bone to pick with most first aid kits and, and the thing is that a big thing that I don't like is I've, ne I've yet to see any first aid kit off the shelf out of the store that you can buy that I feel like is adequate. Um, so no matter what first aid kit you get, you're always going to need to add things to customize it depending on your needs, the needs of your family, any um, illnesses you have, prescription meds that you're on, that kind of thing, and also uh, your lifestyle. <laughs> I happen to be very, very busy all the time, so I'm a little bit accident prone, and I have asthma, so I always factor that into my first aid kits. I need things for asthma, asthma inhalers, allergy medicines, and I need things for ble bleeding. So, um, so we're going to see what's in here. I've looked at these on Amazon. Um, this is on Amazon. It, it's very, very well reviewed, by the way, on there. And if you're interested in this, I will put a link in the description below. And if you use my link and you purchase one of these, I do get a small kickback and no extra cost to you. As a matter of fact, if you use my link, even if you don't buy this kit, anything you buy helps support the channel. So I really appreciate that. But let's uh, let's dig into here. It's got a small pocket on the outside. Nothing in there. That's okay. Everything's going to be in the big pocket. And by the way, one of the things they uh, they market this as as um, as a first aid kit for hiking, backpacking, um, survival, you know, survival gear and a bug out bag, that type of thing. So let's see what's in here. Okay, everything is in a Ziploc bag, which right off the bat is good. Very very good, guys. Very pleased to see that uh, most first aid kits do not come in a waterproof sack so right off the bat props to you guys we've got all the normal first aid primary care guide and a little giveaway thing which doesn't apply to this video so we've got first aid tape they have to have it in here I replaced this in all my first aid kits with duct tape I just find it more useful and it's a fire starter that type of thing also it's just stronger but they have to put this in the kit probably okay so you got that this is a thing that I usually don't find in first aid kits off the shelf. Q-tips, these are the really good Q-tips with wood um, in the center instead of plastic or instead of cardboard. So that's a plus, good on you guys for that. I always add these to my kits um, to help clean wounds. Also, these can be fire starters too. So that's kind of good, you know, as they market this for survival use and emergency use. Most first aid kits don't have these either, guys. Just some safety pins. These are great for using with a triangular bandage, um, for fixing gear, all kinds of things you can use these for. They're very, very useful. You can use them as fishing hooks. So that's great that they have that in there. This, I believe, is just a small, cheap tourniquet. I could be wrong on that. I've never seen one like this before. Um, chime in if, if I'm wrong on that, guys, but I believe that's a tourniquet. I'm trying to keep everything kind of in frame here. So I can get one good shot at the end of all the contents of this. So now I've got wound cleaning supplies. Let's see what we got. Ooh, here's one that I add to all my kits that usually doesn't come in here. These are uh, povidone iodine prep pads. I put these in my kit because in a pinch you could also use this for emergency water purification. You have to be careful using that though. Um, but that's great. Usually you just have the alcohol swabs you get in these kits, so it's kind of cool that uh, comes with those so that's a neat thing here's the alcohol pads okay so you got about 10 of those alcohol pads and then uh, antiseptic towelettes these are like you know the normal wipes that all the first aid kits always have in them so another thing that I usually have to add to my kits you guys are doing I'm really impressed so far by the way with this kit actually saline solution I usually put just art, a little thing of artificial tears um, that I buy in, uh, in my kits in case somebody gets something in their eye or somebody in your party has contact lenses. Um, this is for emergency CPR, I believe. It's a little, uh, like a little uh, mouth mask for CPR. So that's cool. That's usually not in first aid kits either. And they have the normal, you know, I'm sorry guys, but 
junky scissors. Um, I would replace, these actually don't feel as junky as the ones in most first aid kits. They actually feel like they would cut. Most of them just feel like very, very loose and you can't get them to cut anything. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. But these actually feel like they would. I don't have any paper in here. Actually, you know what I do? Hold on a second. Let's see on this envelope if it'll cut it. Even though it's not meant for that. And that's surprising. Okay, okay. So, maybe they're not as cheap a pair of scissors as I thought they were going to be. And that's a good thing. Here's the triangular bandage, which is great. Um, instead of just having gauze, you know, that, that has very limited use. A lot of my kits, if it's a small kit especially, and I'm trying to make a small kit uh, to, to fit it in a small place, and have it be compact, I'll choose to put one of these in my kit instead of just gauze or something like that. Um, just because you know you can it, it's just a lot more versatile it's this is kind of like a, a, a first aid version of a bandana basically you can just configure it all different ways use it for all different things um, and this has survival uses too you know you can use it it's a little picture of the dude there using it as a sling for for a messed up arm and that's what you use these uh, safety pins for all right so that's cool emergency blankets Everybody should have one of these in their first aid kit to help treat shock. Also, for survival use, very important to have it. And now we have just uh, an elastic bandage roll. It's not an ace bandage, just rolled up gauze, basically. I'd rather have an ace bandage in here. Um, being that this is a very small kit, guys, if I had to choose, I would not have this. I'd have a small ace bandage that grips onto itself, not with the metal clips, instead of this. And then for, for bleeding, I would use of this, okay? That's just my recommendation. So that's like the main thing so far that I would swap out of this kit, actually. Uh, another pet peeve of mine is tweezers. Most first aid kits come with real junky tweezers that are not sharp enough to get anything out. Um, these do seem like they're a little bit better quality of a tweezer, like they're actually sharp on the end that you might be able to get a tweezer out or shards of glass or pieces of metal or whatever. So um, I, I may not need to replace these tweezers. I'm pleasantly surprised about those also. So I've got a bunch of band-aids, bandages here. Let me just take a look, see what else is here. Okay, moleskin. This is usually not in first aid kits either, guys. So this is if you get a blister. If you're getting a blister on your foot hiking or something, you take the scissors, cut out uh, like a circle and then an inner circle, so it's like a donut, okay? You're going to take the donut, take off the sticky back, you're going to put the donut around, say this white circle here is your blister, you put the white donut around, I'm trying to line it up with the camera, this is weird, like that, okay? And that way, when your sock or your shoe rubs against that area, um, the moleskin will rub against it instead of the blister and that'll be protected. So that's how that works. If you guys have never used it before, some of you guys, I may be preaching to the choir here, but I have to kind of say that because some people may not even know what moleskin is. And it's not from a mole. <laughs> we have uh, four three by three sterile gauze pads. That's cool. They don't take up that much space. Um, again, you know, this is, this is where it's at. The triangle bandage is where it's at as far as I'm concerned. I also love those quick clot bandages too. And now we have just a bunch of assorted band-aids. Looks like we have three or four different sizes. Let's see what they are. I'm going to have to hold them up to the light. And I don't know if these are waterproof. I usually upgrade all my band-aids to waterproof band-aids. I don't think these are, but these are small. Small, and you can see it kind of. Small band-aids. Small band-aids. Small band-aids. I like to see wound closure strips in here. I don't know if they're going to be in here. Uh, these are knuckle, I believe. Yep, knuckle bandage, which is one of the things I always upgrade in my kits. And these are the fingertip band-aids, which is great. I usually go, honestly, I go to Dollar Tree, guys, if you have that near you. And for a dollar in the first aid section, I buy a little white box. And it has like half of these fingertip bandages in it and half knuckle bandages. And I, that's what I use for my first aid kit, kits. But, uh... This has it already, so that's great. And then these are just a whole bunch of full-size band-aids. So um, that's the kit, guys. Overall, I'm 
pleasantly surprised with this kit, and I don't say that very often as far as first aid kits are concerned. Um, but I believe this is a great, great, great base to work up off of, and there is room in, uh, in this pouch for you to add things. I put a small Fresnel lens in there, um, maybe some, some wound closure strips. Um, I'd like to see maybe some Neosporin in here and uh, some other things, but uh, overall I'm very, very impressed with this and we may, this may make it into one of the bug out bags, guys. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for watching. Again, I will put a link in the description below to this kit. It is the Protect Life First Aid Kit, 100 piece kit. If you guys want to get one, help support our channel. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys found this useful. First aid kits are a very, very important thing.